Well, Blade Gang, I'm deeming this review to be uh, Kitchen Defense. <laughs> As you know, I'm big on tactical knives, um, certainly a lot of fixed blades, certainly a lot of folders. Uh, and I like them all to have kind of a tactical bent to them. What does that mean? Well, you could use it in a defensive kind of a situation, you know? <laughs> Out in the woods, prepping your food. In the kitchen, prepping your food. At the barbecue, prepping your food. <laughs> well, we got something brand new from Off Grid Knives. Uh, Off Grid Knives has been turning out a lot of different models this year and uh, really doing a great job. A lot of these are made in Taiwan. Um, so, you know, they're not exactly Chinese made, but uh, they're made by what we used to call the nationalist Chinese, but I don't think that that is a term of favor or use anymore. But I'm going to get off the political bandwagon and simply introduce you to the Sierra Chef. And I do a little bit of work in the kitchen. I've been cooking for a while. I know how to handle a kitchen knife, chef's knife, boning knife paring knife and all that good kind of stuff. And when I saw this and had previously gotten another knife that came in XXL, which I have nearby for comparison, I said, you know, this looks like it's really ergonomic and it's a good size. It's a six inch blade. Uh, and uh, I can use that around the kitchen, but can also use it outdoors. I can use it at the uh, the old barbecue in the backyard. So, um, you know, good for testing ribs and meat and steaks and chicken and stuff. And uh, preparing it for those who would like to uh, partake of it. All right, babbling on. Got some nice jimping there, which you don't normally see on a chef's knife. Oh, a little interruption there, but I'm back. Um, as I was saying <laughs> before I was interrupted, uh, it's a good size knife. Uh, it's what you would call probably on the smaller side for a chef's knife. Don't really know how that's determined, but um, I think a chef's knife can be between six and eight and maybe nine inches sometimes. Nine would be a little bit big. But let's see what we got here. 11 and a half inches overall. And actually, it's uh, if we measure to there, it's a five and three quarter inch blade. But if we measure there, I think that's the business part on a chef's knife. It is six inches. So we'll go along with that and call that six inches. And here we go again with my millimeters on the blade. 2.8, so a little thinner stock than on the uh, Cayman XXL. And if we go to inches, 0.11, and pretty good thickness, 0.72 across the beam on the handle. And if you're going to be carrying this and not just holding it in the hand, 9.23, call it 9.24 ounces. So, it's got, I would say, possibly a little more weight and a little more handle weight than your average kitchen knife. And certainly it's a thicker stock than your average kitchen knife. But the ergos are nice. Handle looks a little blocky, but it's radiused pretty nicely on all the corners. Got a couple of little uh, grooves here. Give you some traction. Interesting handle shape comfortable up here so it's because they they neck it in there and you have uh, quite the guard so you know moving forward with that thing you know should the bear attack you on the campground <laughs> you're not going to slide forward there's a definite stop there and um, got this interesting little feature here both a sharpening choil and a place if you wanted to poke your put your finger up there I'm not quite sure why you would I mean, you can do this sort of uh, work with this knife. And by the way, this color is obviously desert tan. 
and they do kind of a tan stone, kind of a gray stone wash, I guess you'd call it, on the blade. Well, I have exactly the same color combo in the Cayman XXL. And if we look at both of them and I even up the pommels, we do have about an inch longer on the Cayman XXL. Now, the Cayman XXL is definitely more of a buoy combat style knife, I would say. Um, certainly something you could use in the woods for batoning, chopping, what have you. We've got a little thicker blade stock on it. We've got, yeah, 0.16 versus, what did I say? Definitely thinner here. 0.11. Yeah, so uh, that makes this a little lighter weight. I don't think they're doing any lightning in the handles, any holes or, and whatnot. And here, you can definitely see the difference in thickness between the Sierra Chef and the Cayman XXL. You can also see that we've actually got a longer handle on the Sierra Chef than on the Cayman. Uh, most likely because there might be a lot of different grips that you want to use with this knife. I mean, it's set up nicely for rocking cuts and so forth. And uh, truth be told, I'm probably not that well prepared to uh, give you expertise on chef's knives or kitchen knives. <laughs> but I like the color combo. I like the way these guys uh, handle. I like the fact that they're coming in only around 90 bucks or so. I think it was 80, 88 ish on, uh, both of these came from, uh, Amazon. So I'll give you the Amazon links. I believe they're still there. Uh, we're roughly mid December, a little past mid December here in uh, 2023. So when you see this video a year later, I'm not sure they'll still be carrying them. I hope they do because I think they're really, uh, well-designed and budget-friendly uh, large knives. And again, lightweight camping uh, duties with this one, certainly, but a little bit better designed as a chef's knife uh, than certainly that guy. So if just for comparison, we put in the picture the Ontario Rat one, <laughs> I don't know why I've got, I just happen to have it on the side. Uh, I don't think the Ontario, Ontario Rat 1 is a bigger knife, no. And uh, as far as sharpness goes, I think we can do a little quick cutting test. These come through quite sharp. Here we go. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Sharper than some folders I've had with thinner edges. They did a great job on that. Needless to say, high flat grind, ergonomic handle, little on the heavier side as kitchen knives go. But again, you've got the double duty for using it for chores around the camp, lightweight chores around the camp. I wouldn't chop a tree down with it. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little departure from the norm. And uh, let me know what you think. I will be back with you soon. Oh, does come with this. So you got your belt dangler. I just happened to take it off of the sheath. Um, you know, goes like there. Flip it around. Goes like there. What, whatever way you want. But um, I find they're just a little easier to handle around the house. Uh, or, you know, put it in my jacket pocket, <laughs> put it in my tool pocket on the side leg of my, uh, my, uh, my, um, whatchamacallit's, uh, tactical pants. Anyway, once again, I'll see if I can exit this time. Be well, take care. Come on back soon.